Good morning, Rowan. It is Wednesday again. I'm out here with my coffee because we got to get some stuff harvested and show you around before this heat kicks in because it is hot this week. Uh, I think the high today is 98 degrees and all week we've been tracking, sorry, I'm trying to send out my coffee. Um, <clears throat> we've been tracking about five to 10 degrees over, um, what are the words? This is because I'm tired and I'm tired. Over the temperature. So the feels like temperature has been five to 10 degrees over the actual temperature all week. So I have no doubts that we are going to hit a hundred this week. So I do not want to be out here later. I want to get some of these things harvested um, so that even though it is morning, um, I will show you some other things that need <laughs> to happen. There's some maintenance that still needs to happen. It's just not going to happen this week unless I can get out here again early tomorrow and do it. Um, but I wanted to show you around and show you some of the exciting things as the bigger priority this week. So let's get started. Okay, exciting thing number one here at the cucumbers, we have our very first baby cucumber and they've reached the top of the trellis. So now I gotta kinda guide them over the top, but that is very exciting. This cucumber here has also started to climb really well and you can see some babies there. This is the Biet Alpha. I love, love, love that cucumber. This is the Armenian um, white. And then this little guy on the other side that's finally starting to get going is the Silver Slicer. So we finally are making progress on cucumbers, which makes me very happy. And we've got noodle beans. These things grow so fast. They're up over the trellis they keep wanting to go like up and back over so I have to kind of keep redirecting them this way but yeah um, these probably have one more day on them but these things I kid you not grow insanely fast like here's a little baby one and in like two three days that'll probably be ready um, so yeah this trellis is starting to get covered and looks really pretty and I just love the the way these noodle beans look hanging down. Also called um, long beans or yard long beans sometimes. I really like them. I grew them last year as a test because even though they're a bean they don't have the same texture as a green bean would. So I grew a test last year like a really tiny little trellis in the fall just so I could get some and try them and see if I like them. And I do like them. Uh, they're, they're not as crunchy, but they have a meatier kind of texture to them, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I just kind of sauteed them up a little bit and had them and I really enjoyed them. Um, obviously they're very popular in Asian cuisine, so stir fries and things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan, so worth worth trying if you're feeling adventurous in the bean realm and they're just really pretty to grow as well. And this is quite possibly the most exciting part, more so than the cucumbers. Hold please, because I have to turn you around. That, my friends, is a baby watermelon. And I am so excited. I really wasn't sure if this was going to work in here with just, we've got the melon, we've got peppers, we've got okra. And I actually really like it. I don't know if I will do the peppers with a ground thing like a melon next year, just because the plants aren't as tall as the okra is. But yeah. I love the combination of similar to what you do right with the three sisters garden something tall 
and sturdy and something that covers the ground. Um, I suppose you could probably put beans in here to climb the corn. I see a weed. Um, but yeah, this is so exciting to me. I didn't know if it was going to work. I wasn't sure if I was going to get a melon at all because I think last, just last week I was like, it's really big, but I haven't seen anything. And I think there's another little one on the other side that's even smaller. So this one has just been hiding under this marigold here and I finally saw it. So very excited about that. That's the Wilson Sweet watermelon. So it shouldn't get like really big. It's more of like one of the round little watermelons um, versus like kind of the big standard ones that you see in the grocery store. But I'm very excited for that. Next up on the exciting list is my little baby eggplant. I was not so sure that anything was gonna come off of this plant because it had been flowering and I hadn't seen anything for a long while. And I don't know if they just weren't getting pollinated or if they just needed more time. And this is the first year I've really grown eggplant, so I, I didn't know, but yeah, we've got baby eggplants, so pretty excited about that and this right here the very last thing in the exciting list is my first red slicer tomato is ripening this is a uh, triple crop which I really like this is from the plant that I had to rescue <laughs> um, that wasn't doing well in the beginning you can see here this is fruit is so heavy this I had to like support it um, it's definitely a faciated blossom, but I mean, even the other tomatoes on this plant are pretty big and I'm very excited for that to ripen. And that is about it for this morning. So it's supposed to be real hot this week. I'm going to cross all my fingers and pray that everything makes it through. Um, I think the plants themselves will be okay. Obviously, um, the tomatoes, I mean, there's quite a few blossoms on these tomatoes and they're probably not going to put out any fruit. Um, not probably not. They're definitely not. It's going to be way too hot, which is kind of sad because I was hoping I would get a few more at the tops of some of these plants that struggled. But here we are. This is what happens. Um, we will harvest what we can. And then um, in the fall, beans and peas are going to go up on the tomato trellises. So that will be equally wonderful for the fall. Uh, I'm going to have to make sure that the grow bags stay watered this week because they just dry out really fast. They're black. They get really hot. So water will be of the utmost important this week. I think we ended up getting rain last night. Everything seems pretty wet right now. So... Uh, I thought I was going to have to water this morning just so everything would have a good, you know, amount of water before the heat of the day really kicks in. But I think everything's going to be okay. Um, the Wapsie Valley corn is putting out its tassels, so we should have ears of corn coming in soon for that. And yeah, I hope that you guys stay cool as well, because I'm sure if it's gonna be that hot here, uh, it will be that hot where you are as well. And um, yeah, I think that's every, I'm just like, I hadn't walked over to the grow bags yet, so I'm making sure there's not anything over here. The beans are starting to flower, which is good. Um, hopefully the heat doesn't knock them out. The okra's doing great, so yeah. I am going to go take this harvest inside before the heat really kicks in for the day, but I hope you're having a wonderful week.